ನಮಿ ಧನ್ವಂತರಿ ಮಾಿದೇವ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತ ಪಾದಪದ್ಮ ಲೋಕೈರ್ಜರಾರುಭಯ ಮೃತ್ಯುನಾಶ ಧಾತಾರಮೀಶ ವಿವಿಧೌಷಧಿ the illiterate of 21st century the illiterate of 21st century this is by alvin toffler alvin toffler is futurist futuristic professor and he's uh, a scientist he is saying the illiterate of the 21st century will not be those who cannot read and write but those who cannot learn unlearn and relearn what does it mean actually the many of the scientific concepts are now expired they have to be unlearned by the regular practitioners and serious practitioners of the ayurveda and medical science and many of the concepts are now coming up and in this corona age we have learned many new things and there are many concepts are expired and we have to unlearn them first then we can relearn the what is the real thing the concept of contagious diseases and infectious diseases has many more things to be unlearned first i will tell you what is to be learned then i will tell you what is to be unlearned and then i will tell you what is to be relearned please take it i am taken from alvin toffler i am thankful to him but i will go on this line only next please first of all i will i this very precisely every concept very briefly but this brief is the general style of the ayurveda brief is nothing about the infectious diseases or creamy or cover for infection everything in ayurveda deals with a very brief and very precise manner why because of that because the ayurveda is not a medical science only ayurveda is a life science so many social economical spiritual mental psychological many other aspects are there including geographical sociological aspects are there so many subjects are there so we cannot detail every subject in line of ayurveda so that the concept of infections and the infectious diseases are also written in very brief but this concept is very very old first the script of the source of the knowledge is rigveda and we are finding that rigveda mentioned the same first time in the literature then the three mother sangita our bharatri sutra charak and bhagavad nearly written in 2 and 5000 years back it is don't you feel it is wonderful it is unsolved mystery that in between 4th bc and 5th ad how they visualized these invisible microbes what is the, the what was the source of infection hari samhita has given the very different details about the invisible raktas krimi raktas krimi is not the krimi actually raktas krimi are basically bacteria raktas krimi are invisible but they are written under the title of krimi only 
what do you feel next please what is the general opinion the creamy are parasites or nematodes or helminths but in ayurveda the word creamy is including all the bacteria parasites nematodes and even the fungus and even the viruses also so never consider acha ayurveda identified the creamy in a desirable a real, um, reasonable detail they have given the detail about the 20 types of the creamy with color size location and their disease mode of infection mode of and uh, the prevention and the treatment also but there are they are never considered as a main source of the disease in ayurved because the ayurvedic concept of the disease production was very different with the infection actually however susruta has mentioned the upsargik roga contagious diseases and upsarg are different with the creamy upsarg is not the creamy actually upsarg are definitely what do you say the infection cause of infection that is bacteria that may be the virus okay next please this is the general thing precision is the general style of ayurvedic text this is repeated actually ayurveda has covered very every subject of the life you know what is more useful what is that is repeatedly discussed and detailed rest of the concept which are not very not not in practice remain undetailed so the concept of the krimi was the least practiced subject in ayurveda and so that it was though so it was undetailed or remain with the detail i will tell you how why this has not been practiced okay thank you next 20 category of the microbes are written basically they are 39 categories but in ashto um, in 19th chapter of the charak sutra they have repeatedly written 20 only but if we are counting with the book of, written by bagel there are 39 categories and the 39 categories of the krimi are detailed in the shastra and uh, i don't think it need the detail naming and uh, this grouping because they have changed outrightly the all the names are not in practice all the locations are not in uh, really understood and so this is this has no meaning to detail the old names of the krimi even the pandemics and epidemics are written in ayurveda and epidemics and pandemics are written in separate chapters like janapad udhvans and some fungal infections are there some community health management was there to um prevent this type of the infections which are very spreading and which can cause the pandemics they are dundubi swaniya adhyay in sutra they are using the dundubi or flu to spray the antiseptics or antibiotics in the air through the uh, fluids or something air borne diseases do see acha no treatment no specific treatment is given for the kavak or fungal infections because they are included on the general guidelines of the do see this armies and asatmya they are equally useful in the, their treatment also okay next why so this is to be 
relearn every ayurvedic student is known of this theory but at what intensity what depth is knowing i i am confused because many of the teachers many of the our students are still now they are talking about the specific bacteria even though they don't have any bacteriostatic or bacteriocidal medicine i in ayurveda there is no medicine is called the bacteriostatic or bacteriocidal but some pharmacological studies are there which shows that many of the medicines are bacteriocidal or bacteriostatic or fungicidal or bacteriocidal or viral antiviral some are there but ayurveda has not mentioned any of the medicine as the vis sankramak or uh, sankraman rahit karne wali koi medicine the concept of ayurveda main concept of the ayurveda is soil seed and season theory ritu kshetram bu beej theory where broadly the dosha are considered the seed pathogen body is the soil and seasons are aggravating and pacifying factors what are these really that has to be reconsidered relearned today it is the body if the body is weak to prevent the invasions of the morbid factors the disease process starts in season scale modify alter these in mild moderate or severe states okay next please you please go through the sequence of the causes of inarvid ahar is the first and primary cause of all disease ahar sambhavam vastu roga ahar sambhava the diet the food food in shape of breath in shape of udak fluids and in shape of food both all the three are food they are diet they are causing the health and disease both hitahit visheshascha vishesha sukh dukh what is good food that will produce the health and what is bad food that will produce the diseases but not only food at second line agni dosan manushyanam rog sanga prathak vidu second thing is agni not only the food if agni or digestive capability of a person is good he or she can digest the all pathological or all ahit or all bad foods that can be uh, can, that could be consumed so agni is more important than at second phase digestion metabolism is the second source then what does this agni this if the agni is poor it digestible cap- digestive capability is poor then it will create the arm and or arm of it this is the first pathogen for the producing any disease but first pathogen namely the first pathogen is dosh arm dosh sham dosh niramda sham datu and mal this will be the first pathogen for the disease actually but dosh is only capable to produce the disease but dhatu is offender dhatu is defender sorry dosh is offender and dhatu is defender if dhatu is proper is tissue is healthy and tissue is capable to intact the immunity then dosha will not work so the tissue or dhatu or shuddha sattva dhatu is important so if the dos dusha samurchana if the interaction between the dosha and dhatu takes place at the extent of the 
धातु रिमेन इनएफिशियंट टू प्रोटेक्ट द ऑफेंस ऑफ द दोषा देन द डिजीज विल ओकर देन फोर्थ स्टेज द स्त्रोत आर इम्पॉर्टेंट यदि तक स्रोतान की प्रकृति भूतत्व न विकार रूप से जितने सही इफ द माइक्रो चैनल्स आर एडिकेटली पेटेंट टू कैरी टू ट्रांसपोर्ट टू ट्रांसफॉर्म टू डिस्पेंस टू सर्कुलेट दी धातु दी पैथोजन और आइदर फूड द नो क्वेश्चन ऑफ द डिजीज एक्चुअली If the strotus is most important point for the production of the disease, but what is more important than the strotus actually? That is cave gulme. If the strotus are intact in potency, strotus are good in potency, strotus are good in transportation, strotus are good in transformation. Then we, there is no question of the disease, but cave gulme. Kavigulni means if the strotus are genetically poor, if the strotus are poor by the nidan seven, if the strotus are having some deformities because of the previous diseases, strotus are defected with the treatment taken by the for the previous diseases, or the strotus are. poor by the mental suppositions or mental conditions or by the nidra vyayam brahmacharya etc then this khayavagunni is the most important event for the production of the disease actually if the khayavagunni is there this is the stage where the bacteria viruses fungus or other parasites can do anything for the production of the disease really this five stage previous five stages have nothing with the bacteria this last six stage is very important for the production of the disease and if the ritu kshetram bu beej as are not supportive to to that bacteria or not supportive to this particular pathogen or to pathology created by the didana and ritu is unfavorable to the disease kshetra or soil is very proper immune and bees is not potent then disease will not occur if the ritu kshetram bu bees is poor is supportive to the disease then the disease will occur otherwise season soil and seed can remit or spread the pathology this is the ayurvedic system of the pathology now you can see where the bacteria is causing the disease bacteria at the sixth stage okay next please Yesterday, I have seen one interview with the uh, a medical professor who has been surveyed a village where the well water was found the cholera vibrio positive, and he was very happy that this village has the cholera vibrio source. We have found the source. This well is uh, infected with the cholera vibrio. but he went to the will uh, village only 31% the 31 persons were affected with the cholera vibrio out of 1038 means more than 100 more than 1000 patients were not affected which were taking the same you know, drinking water from that well so what is the reason of the persons who are healthy instead of taking this same infected water so this is the reason because the six stages are very good only the bacteria is there but bacteria could not cause the disease in all the 
thousand persons actually. Only thirty one persons were affected with the bacteria. Why? Because the khayvagunni was not there, srotas dushti was not there, ahar dushti was not there, agni dushti was not there, and those dushti was not there. Only bacteria was there, and bacteria was present in all the patients. Even the patients were healthy. So, what does it contagious diseases? What does it, uh, infectious diseases? Infectious diseases can produce a disease in case of all these six stages are favorable to the disease production. So Ayurveda is very uh, firm on the ground. The most of the person. This is the same question arose by the Gopal Vasishtan in the Sibio Health. Why then all persons are not Uh, having the diseases, why the most persons are healthy? Instead, they are using this type of the food habits. They are not having the good food habits. They are, they are not um, maintaining the lifestyle very properly. They are not maintaining the hygiene. Even they are good in health. What because of that? Because the bacteria is very feeble cause. ये विचारी कारण। If the all five previous stages are good to good enough to prevent the diseases, okay, then if the bacteria is there, if the diseases are there, then even the ten essential factors are to be considered for the disease progression or disease remission. देशम दूष्यम बलम कालम प्रकृति अनलम वय सत्व सात्म तथा प्रकृति सूक्ष्म सूक्ष्म समीक्षेषाम दोषोषद निरूपण है वेरी माइन्यूटली दीज टेन फैक्टर्स शुड बी ऑब्जर्व फॉर द बिकॉज दे आर एग्रीवेटिंग और पेसिफाइंग फैक्टर्स ऑफ द डिजीजेस एंड दे आर considered they should be considered in every individual who is being treated or who is being examined for the disease next please this samprapti is road map what is the samprapti actually samprapti is the nidan to disease a journey of the nidan for progression of, uh, for manifestation up to the manifestation of the disease so bad food which is nidan which is called nidan in ayurveda eventually produce the ama and amavisa gradually progressive in accumulation aggravation and spread out the dosha or the morbid factors in case of the tissues are potent enough to protect invasion of the spreading dosha disease progress go on remission otherwise in case of khayvagun in the microcinus lucian the potency and morbidity localized and manifest in disease actually this is the brief very brief uh, samprapti or the disease history or disease road route route map of the disease actually next have you seen any of the disease in ayurveda move and specifically Diseases are well known infectious diseases like jhara, sooth, shosh, kusht, and vrana. Are you do you find any antibacterial, antiseptic, antibiotic, antiviral medicine in the treatment protocol? written by the charak sutrut or vagvat anyone even by lagutrai madhav nidan or sarangdar or yogratnakar or further and i have not seen any of our teacher or any of my student who is treating the jwar on the antibiotic line we are treating the jwar on the dosic line 
वी आर ट्रीटिंग द डिजीजेज ऑन धातु और दूसरे लाइन वी आर ट्रीटिंग द डिजीज ऑन स्रोत लाइन वी आर टीचिंग द डिजीज ऑन द खेवेगुण लाइन We are teaching, treating the disease on agni, based on the agni. We are never considered the bacteria as a cause of jora or sosa. Even rajikshma. We are not treating the disease at the line of uh, um, tubercular bacilli. we are not treating the typhoid at the line of tubercular bacilli uh, sorry typhoid bacilli we are not treating the pneumonia on the pneumococci we are not treating the vrna even for using the antibiotics or antiseptics there we are having our own treatment protocol which is based on the dosha dushi theory which is based on the agni srotas theory which is based on the uh, lifestyle theory which is based on the mental sup- uh, good supposition sar theory huh? so infectious infections are the causes definitely they are the causes of the disease but our treatment protocol is very much different with the infection infections protocol we are treating we are managing differently so we have to identify we have to diagnose the disease in that same manner which is guided by our treatment protocol in ayurveda we are diagnosing differently we are treating differently and the disease progress and we can prevent we can regenerate we can protect we can rehabilitate the diseases on our life there are two systems of the diagnosis actually one is screening few grains from the sand this is silon subrutti screening fewer grains from the sand or screening few pebbles from the millets useful thing is seed from the sand the sand is more then we have to identify what is useful the sand is not useful there the grains are useful so we will definitely is clean out the grains and we will ignore the sand actually so if the disease is so damaging we will definitely save the three marma if the disease is spread throughout the body damage all the body we will save three marma only what is that head heart and basti this is written in kiyanta sirsi adhyay charak sutrista 17 and for saving these all three organs we will save the one thing that is ojas this is same guidelines are given in the chapter 17th of the sutrista before discussion of any disease charak has given the importance to identify the three marma if the three marma are good then you proceed for the further diagnosis of the other diseases if the three marma are already poor already disease so please save the three marma first so this is the screening few grains from the sand if the disease is very less if the damage is very less then you can you have the option to identify the bacteria identify the viruses identify the many of the other diseases and 
one by one because you have the plenty of millets there few pebbles are there if the pebbles are few then you should choose the few pebbles but if the sand is huge you don't waste your time to select the sand to avoid the sand aap andhere ko bhagane ke liye diya jalaye kafi hai andhere ko bhagane ke liye aapko andhera nikalne ke liye koi machine lagane ki zarurat nahi ek diya jalana kafi aur wo diya hai ojas to ayurveda is very clear about what kind of the screening system diagnostic system you are needed here when the damage is more you need to save the fewer organs which are very important for the life and the fuel for the all three organs is only ojas that you have to be saved if the disease is slow progressive disease is new disease is less pathology is very initial stage then only you have time you can invest your energy to diagnose in detail for every pathogen including bacteria otherwise you have to save the life of the patient this is our system very clear system whatever is easier prompt and useful that particular step you should be you should take organ physiology is understood and pathologies are various so you have to identify the organ physiology if the physiological in, uh, physiology of the organ is intact is good then why you are worried about the pathology huh? if the fewer pathologies are there then you should make the try to revive the other organs physiology what even ayurveda has never considered the organ specific pathologies ayurveda is given the direction clear direction dhatu is organ dhatu is organ so please save the dhatu save the tissue because the tissue is the tissue will repair the organ when so what is useful what is easier what is prompt that should be done this body this universe this cosmos all is made by agni and so the kshetra or soil is kapha and the same is tamas and same represented representative of moon in the cosmos in the form of soma all the formed structures of the body is because of kapha solidified biofluids from the body union of sperm and ovum developed in fluids supplied by the mother which we call rasa kapha is bodily representative of the moon in cosmos supreme source of the nutrition is moon or soma tamas is the same thing this is inner and this inertia of tamas is stillness and it is requisite for time taking maturation the the soil of the body is the kapha we have to make this soil fertile for the health good for the health form for the health and if the soil is degenerated if soil is poor soil is poor to grow up 
soil to poor to protect the diseases then the you then you see the kapha can be the cause of this disease actually what is seed seed is agni seed is pitta the kaya kaya means body and kaya means agni and this unicellular enzyme uh, organism at the time of the conception this was the unicellular organism this unicellular uh, organism developed in trillion cell cellular organism but because of that because of this seed actually and seed is agni agni vardhati agni is evolved and developed by seed this agni is situated in pitta food cannot nurture the body without metabolic transformation by pitta and agni and cosmic source of seed uh, agni is sun or pit or pitta is sun and sattva is the mental representative of the seed sattva is an essence of the digestion metabolism which nurture ojas enlighten patience and wisdom sattva is an end product of the physical level connecting switch between the body and mind and very first cell of the body is made of sattva you can see the charak sutra sthan 30 yattu garbha rasadrasa ha garbha rasadrasa garbha ras first drop of the sattva is developed like this body this was the seed for in you can i i am mentioning the not the shlok number but charak sutra 30 arthe das mahamuni to garbharas first the drop of the sattva is the body actually this last is ritu or season vata is the creator and terminator of the season actually vata is season vata is rajas vata in cosmos is anil vata creates the season vata is yoga vahi vata is balancing the atmosphere with the cross cosmic rhythm mainly three seasons are there rain winter and summer predominantly increase vata pitta and kapha respectively you know better the vata is regulator and seasonal uh, regulator of seasonal fluctuations in the body and in the cosmos also vata is creator for seasonal changes the role of vata is like the role of rajas in mind rajas is the creator of desires lust attachment and aversion which turn the same subject into different perception now we are healthy but second time when we are in anger all the system is damaged actually abruptly all the atmosphere of the body all the transformation digestion metabolism and appetite hunger urine stool all will go disturbed because of the atmospheric changes created by the rajas or vata when we are in aversion when we are in lust the all the atmosphere will change abruptly अव्याहत गतिरियस्यानस्थिताउटी मूव थ्रू आउट द बॉडी थ्रू आउट द एवरी सेल एंड स्थानस्थ वेर इट इज रिक्वल really desired and prakritastho in the desired quality vit rog samasatam jive vit rog samasatam if the vata the all the three qualities of vata are good 
then a person will be able to live the life 100 years without any disease. This is in Charak Sutra, Charak Chikitsa 28, fourth, I think, fourth slope. So, Vata is creating the atmosphere. Vata is Pittam Pangu, Kapam Pangu, Pangavo Maladatava, Vayuna Yatra Niyante. Vayu, that's why the Vat Kalakali, Vat Chikitsa, the Vat Kalakali is written there, Vat Chikits, Vat of Vyadi Chikitsa is written there, Vat Sonic Chikitsa is written there, not the Kaf Kalakali or Pitta Kalakali. Because the Vata is the terminator, Vata is the creator, Vata is the really atmosphere creator of the body. So that's why Vata has given the supreme importance for the creation of the disease and termination of the disease. So this is the season, this creates the season of the disease. So these points are very important. We Ayurvedic people or any medical system, fraternity. So please carry on understanding, learning, relearning the Ayurveda and unlearning the false sciences. Thank you very much.